call me Daredevil. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco 112th Collective Daredevil. This guy is sporting some pretty decent articulation, some nice details on the plastic bits, and a really, really nicely tailored outfit done for this guy. We've also got a slew of accessories, but what we want to do is look at that articulation. The head can chicken neck look up that far, look down that far, tilt side to side. Can we get a, oh, mm, girl, we got that super shenanay. They could also go around 360 degrees. Butterfly joint at the shoulder allows it to go back and forth like so. The arm with the shoulder joint can only go up about that high. It can go forward that far. Uh, actually, we can get it to go up about that far, which isn't too bad, but it's kind of scary with this suit. And back that far. Got a nice swivel below the shoulder. You've got a double jointed elbow. The wrists are on the same peg as most Mezco, so you got the up and down 360 action, and you can also move the joint, you know, to, to get it to go side to side, but I'm kind of struggling right now. But yeah, you got that, that mushroom peg. On the torso, you can get a little bit of an ab crunch like that. You can bend back like so. Tilt side to side and turn side to side. Sorry, no body copters today, my friends. Ding dong! The legs can kick forward that far. Can kick back. Well, really don't kick back much at all because of that butt sculpt. You can go out, not quite for the crotch copter, we get like a little car wheel swivel at the thigh. You got a double jointed knee and cool rockers. Feet can point down only that far and point up only that far. Now that we've seen that articulation, let's look at those accessories. Comes with a pair of Billy Clubs. Also comes with this awesome radar effect piece and a Billy Club that's attached to a wire to emulate throwing. He also comes with like a ridiculous amount of hands. Like I actually really, really like that setup. It's really cool. What I like about the wire is that it's a really, really thin black wire. So like it blends well like in this shot it doesn't even look like there's a wire there it just looks like he's throwing it but if you get up close you can definitely see the wire it's a nice bendy wire it's really thin I don't know whether or not I think it's scary just yet but um I don't know I'm, I'm kind of almost there but yeah so he's got he's got holding a pair of holding hands for Holding the billy club, he has he has fists. Um, he's got these uh, kind of titty grabbing hands for grabbing titties. Uh, he's got these Bruce Lee like hands, and uh, he's got a he's got a pair of hands like this that are for throwing. Or poking people's eyes out and he has another pair of like just open hands which you can also use for throwing and um, and obviously he comes with the display base with any you know it's got two setups like you can have the peg at the foot or you can have the flight arm and he also has heads let's let's look at some of those heads like check it out he's got this this cracked mask face, he's ass whooping, that I, 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 I bet he didn't, I bet he didn't, I bet he didn't see that, I bet he, I bet he didn't see that, I bet he didn't see that coming, <laughs> cause, cause he's blind. <laughs> and he's got this sweet Johnny Cage face. I also 
forgot to mention that you can actually store his billy clubs on his belt like so which is really cool because like I like that they include things like that and they fit really nicely and still like has a good articulation so yeah all right we're gonna take another look at some packaging you know on the back of the box here we've got some nice you know pictures of the figure itself and in the case of this one when you remove the slide it's actually the same so that's a different take you know on the usual mezco box design but you got the nice dd on there and you know the magnetic with awesome picture on the inside i really like the packaging on these guys so yeah i'm still really liking this line while this in my opinion is probably the scariest one to play with and it's not actually because of the costume because oddly enough after messing with it for a while and you kind of sit it back in static pose it kind of straightens itself out so i don't have to worry too much about that aspect the joints on this guy are a little weird like in the knees you got a little bit of wobble there and this joint's really loose but the swivel's really tight and this leg joint in general is just really really tight so just some things that you know make me feel a little uncomfortable when i mess with it but once you once i got used to them it wasn't so bad but i still have moments where i'm like ah. Other than that, this is a pretty good figure. I definitely would suggest this if you're into this line, but I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea. These guys are like 80 bucks, so they're pretty pricey, but you do kind of get what you pay for. They're definitely worth that $80. So if you want to get into this line, definitely do it. Otherwise, it's okay if you don't. And that's about all I have to say for this figure. Thanks for watching the review, and I'll see you guys next time.